When Mies van der Rohe came to the U.S. in 1938 to become director of the Armour Institute, which is now known as Illinois Institute of Technology, he developed three phases on the ground of the construction of the corners in the building. The three phases were the exposed steel sections, the hidden structures, and the exposed concrete. In the exposed steel, he used the steel structures on a bigger scale than the structures he used in Europe. Mies was influenced by the technology development of the late 30s and translated it to the visual steel section. It was used in various buildings in IIT, such as the Minerals and Metals Building, also known as M&M in 1942, the Commons in 1951, the Boiler in 1948, and the Crown Hall in 1952. The Mineral and Metals Building was built between 1942 and 1943. It was the first building that Mies built in the U.S. It was his first experiment with the relationship between steel structure, brick walls, and glazing. The second phase is the hidden structure. We can see it in different buildings at IIT. The IIT Pearlstein Hall, 1944, the Wishnik Hall, 1946, and the IIT Alumni, 1946. Between the construction of the M&M building and the Alumni Hall, Mies had time to change and redefine the details of the corners. The reason was to adapt to the fire code requirements. For that, he had to hide the structure with a layer of concrete that is no less than 2.5 inches on every side. The detail of the brick on the facade of the alumni explains that the second structure is not bearing but only a skin for the enclosure. The real structure is the steel. The last phase is the exposed concrete that we can see in the IIT Carmen Hall, constructed between 1951 and 1953, the IITRI Engineering 1943, and the IIT Institute of Gas 1947. The Carmen Hall has a concrete structure in which the column sizes decrease every three stories. In the corner, Mies uses columns in the shape of an L, so it's not a one-volume building, but a union of perpendicular surfaces. 